So let us take two real numbers. Let x and y be two real numbers, right? Real numbers you can see. Okay. So what is the first statement says? x plus y is equal to n. n is belongs to positive integer. Okay. And then second thing, the sum of the square x square plus y square is equal to n plus 1012. So let us take, first you have to write in a single variable, right? So you have to see here, this one how to write y is equal to n minus x, you can write now. Just replace here, x square plus n minus x whole square is equal to n plus 1012. Okay, x square, you can say x square, just a minus b whole square expansion, n square plus x square minus 2ab minus 2 times nx minus n minus 1012 is equal to 0. Minus 1012 equal to 0. You can see this is a quadratic equations. We need a complete real solution idea now. So that means the discriminant should be greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So x and y are real numbers, right? So the discriminant should be greater than 0. You can use this idea. What is b here? Minus 2n minus 2n whole square b square minus 4ac. 4 into 2 into c is what n square minus n minus 1012 is greater than or equal to 0. I hope everyone understand, right? Now you can simplify this 4 n. Now 4 n square minus 8 n square is what? Minus 4 n square plus 8 n plus 8 0 9 6 greater than 0. Now you can multiply by minus 1 both sides. The inequality will be changed, right? So therefore 4 n square minus 8 n minus 8 0 9 6 is less than or equal to 0. So you can see each term is divisible by 4, you have to divide by 4. So n square minus 2n uh, minus 2024 is less than or equal to 0. You can see the product is minus 2024, the sum is minus 2. So which one is factor is possible? 46 and 44 will, will come, right? So therefore n minus 46 into n plus 44, right? n plus 44, okay? It's less than 0. Now you can use that wavy core method. So which positive integer is satisfied? You can see here. So what are the critical point here? The critical point is 46 and 44 will be there. So minus 44 and plus 46 is there. Start with the positive and negative and the positive because if change the sign if it is odd power because you can see each term is odd powers only. So therefore, so n will be fall in minus 44 to plus 46 will come, right? But we need uh, n is positive integer, n belongs to positive integer. Therefore, so n you can choose from 1 to 46. So what is the maximum value? Maximum value of n will be 46.